Welcome to Time News. Today we will be discussing the latest developments in the longevity industry over the past week. In this episode, we'll have a total of eleven news pieces to share with you. First, let's get started with a new biological clock. Cheek age is an epigenetic aging clock from cheek swab DNA, correlating age with lifestyle and health factors. It is validated across populations and offers an online tool for age prediction and data exploration. Which is developed by scientists from Tally Health, a company involving David Sinclair. On NMN, in food and function, the study explored how long-term NMN intervention affects colon function in aging mice, revealing improvements in intestinal pathology, gut bacterial composition, and metabolic pathways. These findings suggest NMN supplementation may delay frailty and promote healthy aging, which is done by Wenzhou People's Hospital. When it comes to lifestyle and aging, in mental health science, the study examined how daily stress is related to subjective aging in younger adults. Results show that higher stress was linked to feelings and looking older, but this effect was less pronounced on days when individuals felt more controlled over their circumstances. In Yama Network Open, researchers from Columbia University reveals that upward educational mobility is linked to a slower pace of biological aging and reduced mortality risk, as indicated by DNA methylation data. Higher education may contribute to extending lifespan and mitigating age-related health risks. In terms of skin aging, in biogerontology, the study reveals that ENPP5 exacerbates skin aging by promoting senescent cell behavior and CASP. Knockdown of ENPP5 suppresses CASP and age-related changes in both human fibroblasts and mouth skin, suggesting a potential target for anti-aging therapies, which is done by Keon University. On blood transplantation, in aging cell, researchers from Oslo University found that recipient age affects epigenetic aging in transplanted cells. Epigenetic aging clocks are accelerated in cells transplanted into older recipients, but decelerated in younger recipients. Next is about immune aging. Researchers from University Medical Center Groningen find that aging and frailty alter immune cells, with older adults having fewer plasma cytoid dendritic cells. And increased activation markers are monocytes and dendritic cells. Frail individuals show heightened CD40 expression on monocytes, impacting immune function and inflammation, which is in NPJ aging. In stem cell research and therapy, the study identified three functional subtypes: mesenchymal stem cells, multilymphoid progenitor cells, and trophoblasts. Among them, the ERP1 high subpopulation improved ovarian function in aged and POF mice by secreting factors and remodeling the extracellular matrix, which is done by Tongji University. In Nature Cardiovascular Research, accelerated biological aging is linked to a higher risk of developing cardiometabolic multimorbidity and mortality, suggesting that biological aging measures could help identify individuals at risk of CMM and enable early. Intervention and prevention step strategies. On mechanism, researchers from Re- University of California find that insulin mTOR signaling, crucial for growth and aging, is regulated by LPD3 in C. elegans. LPD3 moderates N7 insulin level, impacting lipid trafficking and hexazoramide production. LPD3 declined with a shortened lifespan via insulin mTOR pathway, suggesting its role in aging modulation, which was published in Cell Reports. Finally, researchers from Seoul National University reveals that senescent cells and cancer cells display metabolic alterations, but senescent cells adapt to sustain stable growth at rest. Targeting senescent metabolism akin to cancer metabolism offers a Promising strategy for senotherapy to mitigate senescent-associated pathologies and promote healthy aging, which was published in Trends in Endocrinology and Metabolism. And that is all. Thank you for joining us on this week's Time News. We hope you found these updates informative and inspiring. We'll see you in next week's broadcast. And don't forget to subscribe our channel. Wishing you a happy and long life.